Did you know about four and a half million children in the US have asthma, with allergic asthma being the most common type? Allergic asthma is triggered by allergens like dust, pollen, and animal dander. And while symptoms like wheezing and coughing are well known, what about the early warning signs before an asthma attack? The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America wants to empower you to manage your child's asthma proactively. Here are common early warning asthma signs and how to take control. One common indicator is changes in breathing. If your child is breathing faster, shallower, or having trouble catching their breath, it might be time to pay your pediatrician a visit. Runny and stuffy noses and sneezing are also telltale signs. Changes in mucus, especially if it's colored and thicker than usual, could indicate a possible asthma episode too. Itchiness around the neck or chin and itchy or watery eyes are other early warning signs. Some kids may also have a scratchy and sore throat before asthma flares. Dark circles under the eyes and fatigue can be early symptoms of allergic asthma. Other symptoms might include mood changes, headaches, dry mouth, tightness in the chest, and poor exercise tolerance. So what can you do to take action if you notice these signs? Schedule a doctor visit with your child's doctor. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial. Then create a list of your child's specific early warning signs. This helps you identify and address future episodes before they escalate. Discuss this list with the doctor. They may recommend quick relief medication like an albuterol inhaler to open airways and ease symptoms and or an asthma control medication that works to prevent symptoms. Finally, get a written asthma action plan from your child's doctor. It outlines specific medications and steps to take based on your child's asthma severity. Remember, early intervention is key. By recognizing early warning signs and starting treatment, you can help your child manage their asthma effectively, reduce the risk of emergency visits, and ensure they can enjoy a healthy, active life. For more information, visit the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America website at afa.org.